You know, Madam Clerk, I do have a, a general public comment card. Or do it. Is that general or is that for a specific item? Specific item. So do we have any general public comment? Uh, no comment cards for a general public comment have been submitted. Okay, why don't we go straight to item seven? Okay, I'm going to go to uh, item seven where I have uh, the president of UFLEC, my friend Frank Lima's here today. And for the yes, Mr. Labonge. Uh, the public comment, since there's no public comment, I'm moving. Public comment be closed. Okay. Thanks. Uh, for the record, you'd like to open and close general public comment? Yes. Thank you. No, I, I slept that. Mr. Labonge was on it, okay? When you have Labonge on your, your right side, you do right. Thank you. And then for the record, item number seven is a resolution and a chief legislative analyst report relative to establishing the city's position to oppose AB 57 quirk regu regarding the regulation of wireless telecommunications facilities. Mr. President, if you could please come forward, Frank, and then I'm going to ask my colleague to uh, get engaged and say a few words, Mr. Bonin. Uh, welcome, Mr. Lima. Yes, sir. Thank you, uh, Chairman Wesson and uh, honorable committee members. My name is Frank Lima and I'm the president of the United Firefighters of Los Angeles City. I'm here to mor this morning to express UFLAC support for this resolution to have the city of Los Angeles formally oppose Assembly Bill 57. Our firefighters oppose AB 57 for two primary reasons. First and foremost, this bill <clears throat> absolutely an intrusion into local issues that uh, undermines the home rule in the city of Los Angeles. The siting of cell towers in local cities and counties is absolutely a local land use decision which the FCC has recognized. AB 57 places an artificial <clears throat> deadline for which the city can act to approve or deny the permits of these cell towers. Secondly, our firefighters oppose AB 57 on the merits of the bill. AB 57 is a solution in search of a problem. There is absolutely no outcry from your constituents or public safety officials to speed up the process to approve or deny the permits for new cell towers in the city of LA. As this re resolution properly points out, mandating that a city like LA has only 90 or 150 days to act on cell tower permit is not appropriate or realistic. The cell companies are the only people in Los Angeles who are complaining that cell tower permits take too long. <clears throat> when was the last time, Mr. Chairman, one of your actual constituents told you, you guys take too long to approve new cell towers in our neighborhood? Probably never. These applications take time, time for proper community outreach, proper notification, engaging of the stakeholders, which did not happen in the LA Ricks prob problem recently, to determine any potential health risks, and time to assess the merits of each individual application. That's why United Firefighters of LA has joined County of Los Angeles, the city and county of San Francisco, the California professional firefighters, and many other others in taking a position of opposition in Assembly Bill 57. It's an unwarranted intrusion into local government land use and um, decisions. And thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you and good to see you. Okay, Mr. Bonin, why don't you, uh Michael, here, let come to the center table. Have you ever been there at the center table? Yeah, I have, good question. I have when I testified against moving the north runway uh, during the oh, transition. Oh, I do remember that. Uh, good morning, colleagues. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to be here before you this morning, and thanks for, for hearing this item. Uh, I introduced this resolution to oppose AB 57, and in doing so, uh, put Los Angeles City uh, on the same page as the Los Angeles County, uh, along the same page as the California League of Cities, the California State Association of Counties, the California Chapter of the American Planning Association, uh, and a number of neighborhood councils, including uh, the Westside Regional Alliance of Councils in my district. And I'm told, as of yesterday, uh, the Board of Supervisors in San Francisco has also uh, put themselves on record as opposed to AB 57. Uh, this is uh, both a matter of our process for dealing with cell tower installations and a matter of local control. 
When it comes to the, the cell tower installation, we have a process right now in Los Angeles that uh, I don't think anybody thinks is ideal, uh, but at least it provides for, for public input. And this is not about the public's ability to uh, say no or reject towers. This is about the public's ability to weigh in and submit uh, aesthetic or design concerns. We have many installations of, of cell towers which are proposed uh, for very visible neighborhood uh, locations, for scenic corridors, and one of the things that our, our public process allows people to do is weigh in so that they can be designed better to, to fit in with our neighborhoods. In terms of local control, this bill actually states that uh, wireless telecommunication facilities are, quote, not a municipal affair. Uh, and tries to make this solely a matter of statewide concern. I think uh, the county in its comment letter, I think, stated pretty much what our city concerns would be as well. The county said that AB 57 would not allow sufficient time for the public to fully participate in the evaluation process because it reduces the processing time frame. In addition, public hearings on applications for a wireless telecommunications facility are sometimes continued, postponing a decision on the matter to address community and public safety concerns. <clears throat> AB 57 would limit the county, <coughs> excuse me, the county's ability to exercise its local land use decision making authority, uh, eliminate our ability to evaluate impacts on communities and comply with existing public notice and environmental review requirements. Uh, there has been some uh, suggestion by those in the telecommunications industry that a compromise could be struck and that we should uh, allow the state to do this when it comes to public facilities, short circuit our process on the public right away. Uh, I, I would strongly oppose that. This council and our city attorney's office has worked very hard in recent years on an above ground facilities ordinance, which is almost done, uh, which gives the community an ability to weigh in on aesthetic and design concerns, and it's, it's very important that we do that. So I strongly urge the city of LA be on record as opposing AB 57. Thank, Thank you. you, Michael. If you, you may, we'll be finishing up with this shortly. You may want to just stay around in case there's a question, possibly. <coughs> Nancy Friedman. I have a card on item seven. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm, I've come here re uh, representing the Brentwood Community Council and uh, concerning cell towers. Um, we've had an example in our neighborhood of a huge vault that was to be put in the ground of a very small front yard, uh, underground with lots of attachments and so forth. And we have, are really requesting that you uh, respect the right of the communities to um, speak with the telecom companies and not let them just ram these things through because we, it's, it's, of course we need cell service, we all understand that, but there are instances where we are right and they are not, and I think we need to have the ability to be able to speak with them as a community. So I'm here on that respect, and I, I oppose um, AB 57 the way it is now, and we're hoping that it will be worked out so that we can have a voice in this. Thank you for taking the time to come down. Yeah, and I'm lost. I don't know which get... chamber you in, but thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, can I, uh, Mr. President? Yes, go right ahead. Uh, Broadwood, please. Ma'am? Miss uh, Nancy? Nancy, come back here. Mr. LaBange has a question. Yeah. I, so, she's talking to the council. She, That's okay, I'll tell her. She's coming back. Oh, I just wanted to uh, thank you and re re recall the, the tree lady from Brentwood. Yes. The tree lady from Brentwood who passed a few years ago. Miss, I uh, forget her name, I want her to recall that because when you mentioned Brentwood, done a wonderful job with trees. Do you recall the name of the woman who uh, was the, known as the tree lady of Brentwood? Please forgive me uh, for not. Michael, you recall that woman's name? I know you do. I'm just having a... Somebody, uh, please uh, help him. Yeah. Well, let's find that I, name. I you, I'm sorry. I'm hard of hearing, and it's very hard in this chamber, so can I ask Mike what you're talking about? Yeah. I was wondering if you know the name of the person they called the tree lady of Brentwood. Oh, Barbara Goldenberg. Barbara Goldenberg. It's right. Golden. 
She passed every, away. She, I know, but she's in every time I think of Brooklyn. She Bert passed on the coral trees to me. Thanks God, good job. God she's bless Barbara. She's a new lady. God, I'm a new Barbara. Good job. <laughs> All right, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Okay, well, I'm glad we were able to answer your question, Mr. LeBond. You. you know, uh, Mr. LeBond and, and, and uh, colleague uh, Bonin, I always have a problem with ceding any inch of, you know, our control, local control. So in order to do that, there has to be an unbelievably strong argument. Uh, I don't see that in this case. In my opinion, the people of Los Angeles uh, are very engaged where it relates to the installation of towers and what have you. I believe we'd be making a big mistake if we did not fight to keep our ability to weigh in on, on this issue. And I don't know what kind of uh, amendments or or agreement could be made, but I would support your efforts to have the city of L.A. go on record in opposition to the bill in its current form. Mr. LeBonge, do you have any thoughts on the idea? I that. I even suggested the city legislative analysts make this a priority in our work program, because this has been, all my time, as the advancement of technology, been a very concern of all neighborhoods in looking at it, and I think when Frank Lima spoke just recently, uh, they put massive cell towers next to uh, fire facilities and didn't even notify us in any process because it was ordered by a higher, you know, we're all for the, the communications, but let's work it out and find the best way. So, but I want to just put a friendly amendment to the Go. CLA for 2015-16, uh, make it a work program with the planning department because this, this should not be a constant hurdle. Uh, it should be resolved in some way as we look at new technology. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Labange. So then, uh, without objection, on this item 7, I would recommend that we adopt the CLA report and the resolution. Okay, so with that, uh, that'll be the order. Let's go through the items that we had on consent. And for the record, items one through six are resolutions and CLA reports uh, on various legislative matters. One is to establish the city's position to oppose legislation that prohibits the reallocation of Social Security payroll taxes. Item two is to support AB 65, which provides matching federal funds for body-worn video cameras. Item three is to support AB 474, which readjusts state supplementary payment amounts. Item four is to support H.R. 855, the New Markets Tax Credit Extension Act of 2015. Item five is to support SB 317, the Safe Neighborhood Parks, Rivers, and Coastal Protection Bond Act of 2016. And item six is to support AB 1191 to allow cities to allocate interest generated from Quimby funds. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Labange, on, 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 on these items, I would recommend, I think we could have the same recommendation for each item, and that would be that we adopt the CLA uh, report and the resolution if there are no questions. I agree with you. Thank you so much. Okay, so then uh, without obje objection where it relates to these items, they'll be deemed approved. Would you continue? Uh, yes, items 8 through 11 are also resolutions and CLA reports. Item 8 is just to support AB 48 and SB 151 regarding controls over tobacco. Item 9 is to oppose AB 1301 regarding pre-clearance of local voting-related changes. Item 10 is to support SB 588 to empower the state to crack down on wage theft. And item 11 is to support SB 716 to prohibit the use of bull hooks for elephants. You know what, why don't we just go ahead and add item 12 to that as well, so if you'd read item 12. And item 12 is a City Ethics Commission report relative to approval of a contract with South Tech Systems, Inc. for the use of their proprietary software. 
Okay, so thank you very much. So unless there's an objection from uh, Mr. Labange on items 8 through 11, we will adopt the CLA report and resolution. On item 12, we'll adopt the Ethics Commission's report. Okay, so, uh, so let it be written, so let it be done. Okay, so uh, is there any additional items that are before this committee? Uh, no additional items and no additional uh, speaker cards. Okay. Well, with that said, I thank everybody for this morning's uh, hearing, and this committee is adjourned. We have the Conejo family in the house. Part of it, anyway. No, well, we don't have children, so we do have... <laughs>